Hey, what is up everybody? Tegan here with High Point Scientific. Today's video is the fourth episode of What is in the Night Sky this month. As always, we're going to be discussing some deep sky objects. We're gonna see what the planets are doing, what the moon's up to. We're gonna talk about a couple cosmic events happening this month as well. So as always, buckle in and let's see what is really out there. Before we start this month's episode, we're going to discuss December's stellar concept, and that stellar concept is known as a fireball. Now, we've all seen a meteor or a shooting star before, but have you ever seen a fireball before? A meteor or a standard shooting star that you typically see in the night sky is about the size of a pebble, maybe up to the size of an apple seed. But a fireball is larger, and these glow much, much brighter and have a chance of actually hitting the ground. Sometimes you see them break up into the Earth's atmosphere and scatter into multiple sometimes hundreds of little pieces as it falls through the atmosphere so for now let's go ahead and discuss our first deep sky object messier 45 the seven sisters the subaru cluster the pleiades when it comes to star clusters there is no finer example in the night sky than the pleiades star cluster it's visible throughout the winter months and can easily be found by following the three stars of Orion's belt upwards to Aldebaran, the red eyes of Taurus the Bull. Continue that line upwards and you'll come to the Pleiades. It appears as a tiny group of 6 to 10 stars with the naked eye, but binoculars will give you an outstanding view. Its brightest stars form a pattern like a mini dipper, while the entire cluster appears to shine with tiny sapphires against a black job of diamond dust. Look out for a coppery double star system in the bowl of the Little Dipper and a tiny trio of stars next to Alcyon. Moving on from the Seven Sisters, we're going to visit the star Algol. Algol varies in magnitude from 2.1 to 3.4 every 2.87 days, making it the easiest variable star in the night sky to observe. Sitting very close to this variable star Algol is another beautiful open cluster known as Messier 34. This Messier cluster is actually located within the same binocular field of view as Algol. A low-powered eyepiece will show sparse scattering of stars similar to the Beehive cluster. Within this cluster, you may see several bright blue stars indicating that this is a new star cluster. Before we hit our next deep sky objects and celestial events of December, let's take a look at our closest neighbors, the planets. Mercury becomes visible for the last week of the year and will pass Venus from the 27th to the 29th, about three weeks after a crescent moon hangs below Venus on December 6th. The moon then appears below Saturn the following night, which remains visible for a few hours after sunset. Jupiter, on the other hand, is visited by the moon on December 8th and can be observed for a little while after twilight ends. Neptune is visible until around mid-evening while Uranus remains very well placed after reaching opposition last month. Mars is now visible low in the southeast shortly before dawn. It passes Antares during the last three or four days of the year. Moreover, the moon itself turns new on the 4th, and you will find the moon full on December 18th. Next on our list of deep sky objects is a planetary nebula that isn't photographed too often, nor is it viewed too often. NGC 1535, or Cleopatra's Eye, you'll find this bright planetary nebula just 4 degrees to the east of the star Zorak and the constellation Eridanus. Small telescopes at about 100 times magnification will show you a small but bright blue hazy disk. And lastly, the aforementioned Geminid meteor shower is going to peak on the nights of the 13th and the 14th. While this meteor shower is one of the best, this year's is hampered by a waxing gibbous moon. Try your luck in the hours before dawn of the 14th after the moon has set. 
So we thank you so much for joining our tour of the night sky in December. Please let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Feel free to reach out to our non-commissioned product advisors here at High Point Scientific by visiting highpointscientific.com. If you like this video, please remember to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our future content. Thank you so much and clear skies.